What's up everybody, Sam Smyers here. Today I want to show you how to make the bass to Call You Back by Leighton Giordani and Janessi. And before we get started today, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and please go ahead and give this video a like. If you do want to grab the preset to these bass sounds I'm going to show you how to make today, you can find them in my Patreon. <laughs> That is the bass. Let me go ahead and solo that so you can hear them together. I have three different layers there. I have this one acid bass, which is adding in those stab sounds. Now, I thought maybe that he used, Janessi maybe used the uh, samples from somewhere because there is a song called Freak where he uses these samples from Splice. I found this. It's really similar, and I think that's the one in that song, Freak. But you can find sounds like that from Splice. It's like an acid bass stab looking like a melodic techno pack. So I just tried to remake that in Serum, and it sounds like this. Then I have this one layer that is, I'm calling the Crush layer, which has a bit of bit crush to it. And you can hear some reverb and delay. And I have this, the kickstart on there. Let me go ahead and just take that off and then I'll walk you through how I made this in Serum. Let's go ahead and just take off all of the effects and we'll start from the beginning. So first of all, you want to put your voicing onto mono. Envelope one looks like this. I don't think I adjusted the envelope one. Then I use the basic mini, so you go into analog and select this basic mini. I lowered the octave negative two, just so I can play it on my keyboard, and lower this randomness, which is usually at 100 to zero. So that's what it sounds like. Then I added on some bright white noise, and you can just go to analog, select bright white noise. And then I added on a envelope two, and this envelope two is assigned to a filter, that's gonna be an MG Low 24 filter. So you just click and drag this and assign it to this cutoff filter. That's the amount of the modulation. Lots of resonance on this pluck. And also I have this filter turned on for oscillator A and also the noise. And I do have key tracking turned on. And that's gonna make it go a little bit, little bit brighter as it hits those higher notes. Then from there, I add on that bit crush sound. So you add on this distortion, go down to down sample, and then the drive is at 20%, mix at 100. Then I just added on a bit of this EQ, adding in some frequencies around 500 Hertz. Then I added on this ping pong reverb. With this filter here, and then finally, just a tiny bit of this hall reverb. Then you add the sidechain on, so I just use Kickstart 2, and that's at 100% at of the sidechain. And let's check out the second layer. Once again, heavily sidechain with this Kickstart 2. Let's check out the MIDI. And for this one, you can hear like some white noise in there. And I wasn't sure if that was actually coming from the bass or from somewhere else in the track, but I just added it in the bass and I'll show you how I did that. So here it is in Serum. Let's go ahead and take off my effects. Take off this kickstart. Voicing is on mono. Here's my envelope one. Just kept it on the default shapes. That's a saw wave seven voices of unison detune at 0 0.07 and it should sound like this then i add on the second oscillator oscillator b this one has octave at negative two and then oscillator b has the octave at negative one 0 0.05 detune on the seven voices of unison and notice the level is also down a bit Then from there, I added on my envelope two, 
and took this envelope to and assigned it to the cutoff on an MGLO 18 filter. Now for this noise, with Serum 2, I can send it to another filter. So I sent this noise to filter two, just so I could EQ the noise by itself. You can see I'm just adding some frequencies, a boost around six kilohertz by just adjusting this cutoff and then adding in some resonance. And then this envelope three, cause I didn't want the noise to follow the envelope one. You can take another envelope, which is what I did here and assign it to the level. So then you just get this more stab like sound like that. Then all together, And then for the effects, I just cut off some of that low end because I got a lot of the other low end from the other bass. Actually, I didn't cut off too much, just around 60 hertz. Those two basses together now. Now for these bass stabs. Just gonna be an A note. And so let's see what I did in Serum here. Voicing is on mono. Here's my envelope one, got it shaped more like a pluck sound. Octave is at negative two. I used two voices of unison. Random is at zero. It just gives it like a little bit of width without it sounding too wide and detuning at 0 0.01. Then I added on a bit of this alpha and Z noise, which you can find in the analog section. And then this envelope two here, I have assigned to the cutoff about 10% on an MGLO 12 filter. Lots of resonance on there, lots of this fat that's at 100%, and also the noise has, I have this filter turned on for the noise. Then from there, I used the sign shaper distortion, drive at about 25%, mix at 100. Then I had to cut off all that low end. I added a bit of this, let's see, the hyper's on 20%-ish, and then some of the dimension as well for some width, and then a hall reverb. All together one more time. So that's how you make the bass sounds to call you back by Leighton Giordani and Janessi. If you do want to grab these sounds, once again, you can find them in my Patreon. I hope you enjoyed the video.